Hi, second graders. I wanted to go through really quick and piggyback off of what you already learned with Miss Candelaria really quick. On your slide today, this is slide number seven, and we're going to go and look really quick because now you guys have been through tally charts, you've seen picture graphs, now you are going to play with bar graphs. Bar graphs are cool because you can see right in front of your eyes where your data lies. Okay, so let's go through really quick. Remember, I can go ahead, make this bigger, just like that. That's too big. Let's do 50. Okay, so right here on my example, I have children playing games, and it shows me how many children are playing the games. What's cool is it tells you what kind of games right here. So these are all outdoor games. And then down here on this line, you see the number of children. So I can automatically look at that and I can see that most kids are playing soccer. If I go over, jump up soccer. If I go over, I can follow my bar all the way over, go down, and I see that there are eight children playing basketball, playing soccer. Okay, let's go ahead and let's look at your bar graph right here. Marbles in a bag is what it says. Okay, so let's let's start let's study our bar graph real quick. So, marbles in a bag is our title. We know how many. It says number of marbles and our scale goes up. And then they're sorted by color. Okay. So, really quick looking it says how many green marbles are in the bag. So, all I have to do is go and assess my colors. Look at the green follow it all the way up to the top where it touches that line. Then I can go over on this line, just like so, and I can see that there are four green marbles. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a four right here, okay? And then remember, over here it says, how many more blue marbles than purple marbles are in the bag? When you are dealing with this kind of question, it didn't ask for a total, it asked for how many more. So when you're thinking about that, you should automatically be thinking, again, not addition when it's a total, but subtraction because we wanna know how many more some, somebody else got of something or there is of something. So right here it says how many more blue marbles are there than purple marbles. So you're going to go ahead, you can look over and see your blue marbles. If you go up, there's six blue marbles. Okay, that's in my brain. Six is in my brain. And I'm going to go ahead and I can see that there are three purple marbles. Okay, so all I have to do is take those two six minus three and that will give me my answer okay and then how many marbles are in the bag all you have to do is take all these totals your two your six your green and your purple you're going to add all of your colors up all right guys all right so this should help you with slide seven and slide eight good job guys